What's up guys, Aaron here, Curls on the Rack, and today, as promised, we're gonna get to the second version of the Slinger Trolley Conversion. You need to see the first video, I'll link it here, go check it out. That is the version where you actually use the trolley and it slides up and down the upright, but now we're gonna do the version that utilizes the short arms for the trolley and uh, as sort of a lever. So, let's get to it. Here they are in all their glory. Now, as you can see, this is not the real trolley arm that comes with the um, the unit when you buy it, the, the 35 uh, inch ones. Uh, but this is a DIY version I made and I will go through on the next video on how you can make some for yourself. If you're one of those people like myself who decided to get the trolley and said I'm paying 150 bucks and I I'm definitely good to get you know more is always better I better get the long ones and then you kind of kick yourself after you got them oh, I can't use them inside the rack kind of sucks whatever we can make our own but anyways on this video we're gonna go ahead and use these to do the lever arm pulley system this I think is a much better option uh, than the other one that uses the trolley number one you don't have to take apart the trolley to use it you don't have to take the arm out throw some sort of pipe in there do this that and also, when you put this trolley on the front, it, it drags. So you're going to rub against the grommet there at the top. And over time, you're going to wear down on either the grommet or on your cable, which is a no bueno. This one comes straight down, so you're not going to have any sort of drag. Uh, those are the two biggest things that I think make this one a more viable option than the other one. So the way that this one works is that you use the handle here, you put it low on here so that way you have the most weight close to the cable that you're pulling up on you're going to get the most resistance that way and then you utilize the shackle that comes with the slinger uh, that usually goes down on the bottom of the cross member there uh, that you would put your bands or you put the bottom portion of the plate load base and you put it here through here now mine obviously doesn't have the uh what is it like a, a one inch hole at the bottom here but you could still throw this through the one inch hole and utilize it there then goes to the cable goes up and through and then down so let's throw some weight on it and I'll show you how this one functions all right so now that we got our place loaded up and obviously if you want to pull the cable farther through all you have to do is adjust the trolley arm up the rack a little bit and then put your spotter a little bit higher over there but i got to say this one feels just as smooth as the one that goes up and down the rack uh, and also it's even quieter um, so i think this is the definitely the better option if you wanted to do this conversion also one other thing is the fact that i have the plate loaded version and the plate loaded version when you pull on it depending on how hard you pull on it 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 tends to uh, swing a little bit. So when you use this arm right here, there's no swing at all. It feels very smooth. You don't have to struggle with the weight going side to side where you definitely do notice it a tiny bit. I mean, they have the cable on the bottom to supposed to secure it so it keeps it going up and down straight, but there's still a little wobble. This actually um, works pretty well and it's very easy to hook it up. I'm not gonna go through a, a montage of me putting it together. I think you can basically see how exactly you put this thing together. But definitely the better option if you're gonna, if you want to accomplish this. But wait, there's more. Let's say you notice that you can only load up so much weight on the trolley arm handle, and you have bumper plates, and they're pretty thick. Well, another option is you can use that same pipe that I mentioned in the other video, and go through the one inch hole at the bottom of the trolley, and that way you can load plates on both sides. And actually, this I think is going to be better for your trolley arm because it's not gonna be dragging this way. It, although it doesn't feel like it is dragging that way, over time, just putting the weight on one side and then going up, this allows you to add more plates, plus the weight is evenly distributed. And uh, this is another great option, and the piece of pipe costs like five bucks. Bam. 
Well, there you guys go. Short, quick, to the point. Um, there's really nothing else to say. If I was going to order the Slinger again and I had the shorter trolley arms at that point, I probably would just order the Slinger with nothing else and I would just use the spotter arm in there. So if you're thinking of buying a Slinger and you're like, well, when am I going to get the plate loaded option, the bands, the weight stack, and you have the spotter arms already and the trolley, I would just go with this option. So something to think about. Ho hopefully the video helped you out. Like, subscribe, and then next video, I'm actually going to go through how I made my DIY versions for, for all of you out there who are, who are kicking yourself for getting the longer ones. So, till next time, peace.